The big mysteries are in the areas that were so devastated at the end of the last ice age, up in the north of North America, the channeled scablands in particular. Deserts are everywhere. No matter what continent it is, and of course it is in Europe and Antarctica. Surprisingly, the Antarctic polar desert is known as the largest desert in the world. That said, these deserts have concealed too many secrets waiting patiently to be uncovered as years pass by. And as we speak, archaeologists have discovered some of them while some are still left undiscovered. From four-legged whale fossils to the bizarre patterns of the Gobi Desert, these are the 20 strangest things found in the desert. Number 20. Four-legged whale fossil. What do you know about whales? Let's just say a big aquatic mammal that moves about in the waters with their tail fin and body preying on other aquatic animals. Oh, talking about movement, we regret to inform you that your nightmares are about to get worse. Scientists have dug up a 43-million-year-old fossil in the Sahara Desert in Egypt of a now-extinct amphibious four-legged whale. You heard right, a whale with legs. And the craziest thing is they lived on land and in water. So, not many animals were safe then. The unique features of the skull and its mandible suggest a capacity for more efficient oral mechanical processing. Scientists discovered how fierce and deadly its powerful jaws are capable of tearing a wide range of prey. Can we just say this whale was a god of death, now? It is known as Phyomycetus Anubis, which the scientists named in part after Anubis, the canine-headed Egyptian god associated with mummification and the afterlife. It turns out whales used to be herbivorous, deer-like terrestrial mammals, but for about 10 million years, whales turned into carnivorous creatures in the ocean. This discovery is a shocker, and at the same time, an eye-opener. Number 19. Oldest Surface on Earth A recent study of ancient desert pavement in Israel's Negev Desert finds a vast region that's been sitting there exposed, pretty much as is, for about 1.8 million years. Presently, it is the oldest known vast expanse of surface area. While it is not as old as some rocks that have been discovered, it is more than four times older than the confirmed next oldest desert pavement in Nevada. The team of scientists dated the surface itself without choosing the rocks on the surface and the results show that in regions that are extremely flat and arid, the surface can be preserved for millions of years as tectonic activity is low and rocks are highly resistant to weathering in this area. Before this discovery, the scientists were not sure of this fact. Number 18. A Shipwreck of Gold Imagine stumbling upon a shipwreck in a desert. Not just any ship, but one with gold in it. But come to think of it, isn't a ship supposed to move on water? As if that was not strange enough, this ship disappeared 500 years ago. It was later found in a desert in southwest Africa with gold coins aboard. This shop was named the Bomb Jesus, which means the Good Jesus. It was a Portuguese vessel that set sail from Lisbon, Portugal on Friday, March 7, 1533. No one knew where it went or where it was until 2008 when its remains were discovered in the desert of Namibia during diamond mining operations near the coast of the African nation. It was said to have sunk in a fierce storm when it was on its way to India laden with treasures like gold and copper ingots. 2,000 pure gold coins and tens of thousands of pounds of copper ingots were discovered on the bomb Jesus, almost all intact. But how did it end up in the desert? According to speculation, the bomb Jesus sank when it was pulled too close to shore in a storm off the coast of Namibia, causing the ship's hull to collide with a rock and lean over, capsizing the vessel. And as the coastline waters receded, the bomb Jesus re-emerged in the desert. There were no human remains on the ship, which shows that most of the crew on board either survived the wreck or died at sea. Number 17. Bizarre Cone Patterns If you're standing right in the middle of this Egyptian desert looking at this pattern, you'd think that they are wind formations until you see a picture of it from the air, which reveals an amazing pattern. How exactly did they form? Humans? Or aliens? Relax. They were actually created by Greek artist Danae Stratou and the DAST art team in the mid-1990s. This artwork is called Desert Breath. It covers 100,000 square meters in the Egyptian desert near the Red Sea and took several years to create. At its center was a fairly deep pool of water, and the whole project was designed to slowly erode over time, which is exactly what's happened. 
The installation consists of two interlocking logarithmic spirals, which fan out from a common center in the same direction of rotation. One spiral consists of protruding cones, the other of incised cones dug into the sand. You'll most definitely never expect to see such a thoughtful work of great beauty and ambition in the desert, but there it is. Number 16. The Most Isolated Tree On the Sahara Desert is a lonely tree that has been isolated for centuries. It is the only tree around for 250 miles that served as an important landmark along a long-established caravan route through the barren terrain, and also as a monument to the resiliency of life. For generations, the tree offered weary travelers a bit of shade and so much more. Before the tree became a center of attraction, the Tuareg people, a nomadic tribe in the region of Tenere, already adored it. But around the late 1930s, it caught the attention of outsiders, too. This tree is considered something special not only for its ability to survive in the stark desert, but also for the restraint countless passers-by have shown in letting it be. A well was dug by the tree, which gives us a hint to how it managed to thrive in the desert. The tree was only about 10 feet tall, but had roots that stretched down more than 100 feet to the water table. It was estimated to be around 300 years old, the sole survivor from an ancient grove that existed when the region was less arid than it is today. But unfortunately, this living wonder would not live forever, but how it met its end speaks more of human recklessness. According to a report, a truck driver 1973 who was drunk driving traced the old caravan route and collided with the tree snapping its trunk. Now let's all agree on this. Drunk driving destroys good things. And you should say no to it. Number 15. Hand of the Desert. This discovery will make you wonder if a giant was buried in the sands with his hand in the air. But that's not the case. It is a giant cement hand rising 36 feet out of the sand. Meet La Mano del Desierto the hand of the desert. But how did this hand come to be? Over 25 years ago, the city of Antofagasta, the isolated center of Chile's copper mining industry, asked Santiago sculptor Mario Mario Irarazabal to create a monument to the emptiness of the Atacama Desert. By March 1992, the result of four outstretched fingers and a thumb made of concrete over an iron frame was revealed. The idea behind this artwork was to express human frailty, loneliness, and pain. It is an homage to the vulnerabilities and weaknesses of the human soul in the face of injustices and suffering around the world. So thoughtful. Number 14. The Ten Commandments. Sphinx. A quick question. Do you know about the 1923 black and white movies titled The Ten Commandments? For you who don't know, the movie is about the story in the Holy Books of Exodus which involves the Ten Commandments of Moses. After the movie was shot, the props used were nowhere to be found. Somehow, these supposedly lost props were found buried, and after they were dug up, they were found in perfect condition. One of them is the 300-pound Sphinx head that was crafted as part of Cecil B. DeMille's movie set for the Ten Commandments. The original paint on this Sphinx was still intact. And in a way, it's kind of strange because the movie was shot in black and white but still painted with intense colors. It seems we still have a lot to learn when it comes to historical movie production because painting this sphinx must have significance to the production. Among other things discovered were liquor bottles, makeup, and tobacco. But how did this sphinx and other props disappear? After the construction of the lavish, Egyptian-themed set in Santa Barbara County, which included more than 20 sphinxes designed by Paul I. Ribe, Rumor has it that DeMille had them all buried in the dunes about 175 miles from Los Angeles. But why would anyone do that, right? Some speculated it was because the props were too expensive to move, while others said they were too valuable to leave for other filmmakers to potentially scoop up. Any words for DeMille? Number 13. A Swimming Pool you must have watched at least a movie where there is a scene in which 30 pilgrims begin to see water in their wildest hallucination. Let's not lie to each other. The best you can see is a mirage. And if you don't know, it's never real. But strangely, there's a swimming pool in the desert. This pool is in the middle of the Mojave Desert in Southern California, and yes, it's real. Anyone can swim in it at a cost. You just have to find it. Okay, okay, you want to know where it is exactly. Let's talk about the pool so you'll know when you find it for real. 
The swimming pool has a minimal design in a white color, unadorned and geometric. It looks like a minimalist sculpture. With an extension of 3.5 by 1.5 meters, this pool is in fact an artistic installation. The pool was created by Austrian artist Alfredo Barsulia, who in 2014 decided to create something unique. He called his project Social Pool, a pool for the people, social, which must be deserved before being able to use it. And for you who want to know about the location, the only known information about the location is that the pool is located several hours drive from Los Angeles, about 90 kilometers from the Mac Center for Art Architecture in Los Angeles. But if you must find it, you have to go exclusively to the Mac Center for Art Architecture in Los Angeles. There you will be given the keys and approximate coordinates of the pool, and the next step will be wandering the desert to find it. The keys must only stay with you for 24 hours, and if you eventually use this pool, you must return with a gallon of water for replacement in the social pool. Do you still want me to tell you the exact location? Well, once you get the keys and coordinates, the information about the location must remain secret, so no one is going to tell you, not even me. Number 12, Fairy Circles. These circular patches look so strange that they are called Fairy Circles. For more than 50 years, these fairy circles have spread across 1,100 miles in the arid grasslands of southern Africa. But are they really made by fairies? No, there's no fairy at play here. Many theories have been put forth, but two have held the most merit. One theory has looked to blame termites for these dry patches, while the other considers the grass's evolution. Scientists have gone back and forth for decades, but a new study offers what may finally be evidence for a clear explanation. It is believed that what makes the fairy circles distinctive are the barren patches within them, but the growth of grasses around them is notable as well. They have found a way to thrive in what is considered one of the driest places in the world. According to research, these plants have evolved to use the limited water in the area to thrive. Do you agree with this theory, though? Number 11. Stone Tools Predating Humans These 330 stone artifacts discovered in Kenya are said to date back as far as 2.9 million years. This makes us question human evolution. If these stones existed before humans, then who used these stone tools? Let's look into it. In addition to the discovery, scientists unearthed hammer stones, cores and flakes, the bones of butchered hippos, and two teeth belonging to an ancient human-like ape known as Paranthropus, from eroded slopes along the shore of Kenya's Lake Victoria at a site called Nyayanga on the Homa Peninsula. This discovery has undermined the assumption that only humans could make these types of tools. The presence of the Paranthropus molars, however, has suggested that members of the Homo genus weren't the only primates to harness this technological advancement. Paranthropus are different from us, they had large faces, giant jaws, and huge teeth that were much bigger than those that belonged to the earliest species of humans, such as Homo habilis. In case you are still wondering if we are related, in simple words, scientists have agreed that Paranthropus did not lead to Homo sapiens. Number 10. Purple Spheres On a bright afternoon, Geraldine Vargas and her husband were out taking a walk. They were taking pictures of views around them when their eyes caught something strange and unexpected in the American Arizona desert. There were thousands of tiny purple spheres glittering in the sun and completely isolated from the rest of the terrain. The couple called some of their friends to know what it was about, but no one knew. They called the news station to check, and they reported that they were like gooey marbles that ooze out a water substance when squished. According to botanists, if these purple spheres are naturally occurring, they could be a slime mold or jelly fungus. Also, some have suggested that these spheres are products like deco beads, which are small, colored, water-filled balls designed to keep plants hydrated. Even if we are to go with any of these theories, it does not explain why thousands of purple spheres would have been put in the desert. Or does it? Number 9 1200-year-old 1, mansion. Do you agree that luxury can exist in unexpected places? In Israel's southern Negev desert, archaeologists found a 1,200-year-old estate, boasting unique underground structures that allowed its owners to overcome the searing summer heat. According to the Israel Antiquities Authority, 
The sprawling property may have been the residence of a wealthy landowner overseeing farmsteads in the area. It was discovered during excavations conducted ahead of the expansion of the Bedouin city of Rahat, just north of Beersheba. The mansion dates to the early Islamic period in the 8th or 9th century CE. It had four wings and was erected around a main courtyard. Finely colored frescoes adorned the walls and floor in one of the wings, while other rooms featured very large ovens, likely used for cooking. But something more surprising than the mansion lies underneath the courtyard, a three-meter-deep cistern dug into the rock that provided the residents with cool water throughout the year and adjoining vaulted structures. This is just so amazing and strange, too, because of its location. Number 8. Missing Pieces of the Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls are a set of ancient Jewish religious manuscripts that have great historical, religious, and linguistic significance because they have the second oldest known accounts of the Bible. Pieces of these scrolls were missing, but in 1940 so, they were found in the Qumran Caves in the Judean Desert. Scholarly consensus dates these scrolls from the last three centuries BC and the first century AD, and many thousands of written fragments have been discovered in the area, which represents the remnants of larger manuscripts damaged by natural causes or through human interference. Initially, it was thought that these fragments were blank and could be used for scientific tests, so they were donated until Joan Taylor, a professor of Christian origins at King's College London, took a magnifying glass and spotted the Hebrew letter L on one of them. Dr. Taylor could not believe her eyes as she thought she was imagining things, but then it seemed maybe other fragments could have very faded letters too. Her hunch paid off. One of the four fragments had four lines of text, with a total of 15 to 16 completely or partially preserved letters. A clearly visible word is Shabbat, which is the Hebrew word for Sabbath. This shows that this fragment might be from the biblical book of Ezekiel. Number 7. Ancient Burial Boat This is a very strange discovery. A burial boat? This discovery was made in Cairo, Egypt, and it dates back to the 3rd or 4th dynasty of ancient Egypt, circa 2550 BC. The Abuser region, where the boat was found, is an extensive necropolis of ancient tombs amidst a large pyramid field that lies to the south of Cairo. Thankfully, sand and lack of moisture have helped preserve several artifacts in the abuser area, but the discovery of a complete funerary boat is extremely rare. The 62-foot-long vessel was never intended to take to the water. Ancient Egyptians of the Old Kingdom had boats and many other items buried with them in mastabas, or tombs made of mud bricks. We have seen the ancient Egyptians practice so many things that are completely strange to us, and this is just one of them. The purpose of the burial boats is still unknown, and it is now a subject of debate among scholars. While many think that the boats were either intended to shuttle the dead to Duat, which is the ancient Egyptian underworld, some believe it is a means for the deceased to navigate the realm of the dead. What do you think it was made for? Six Prada store? Hooray! We can now shop for designers in the desert, or maybe not. Sitting along a barren Texas highway in the middle of the desert is a lonely Prada storefront. Let's get closer a little bit. Oops. It's not exactly what you think it is. The storefront looks exactly like the classic Prada store found on Rodeo Drive or Fifth Avenue. However, this time, it's in Valentine, Texas, a town with a population of a little higher than 100 people. This store is called Prada Marfa, made by Berlin-based artists Michael Elmgreen and Inger Dragset. It is actually a sculpture of the luxury boutique made completely out of biodegradable materials. The artist's goal was to leave Prada Marfa completely untouched, slowly watching it decompose into nature and serving as a subtle nod to American consumerism and retail tourism. But you see, within days of completion, the sculpture was robbed and graffitied. Continuously, this store was vandalized, but yet it remains an iconic tourist destination. Even with what it looks like, won't you just love to visit this Prada store? Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The desert is one of the places for amazing discoveries where even researchers who have seen so many strange things keep discovering strange things. One of them is this discovery in the desert that has scared the world. A massive dragon fossil. Yeah, you should be scared because it just means that the mythical creature once existed in our world. And who knows if it has a baby somewhere waiting to be unleashed. 
Now it sounds like a movie, right? Okay, what do you think? Is this even real? Or it is just a rumor so we can continue our discussion in peace? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Number 5. Ancient Fortress in Sahara New satellite photographs have shown more than a hundred fortress settlements from a lost civilization in southwestern Libya. A real-life castle in the sand? Of course, yes. This fortress was made by an ancient culture that was said to be lost. The communities, which date to between about AD 1 and 500, belonged to an advanced but mysterious people called the Garamantes, who ruled from roughly the 2nd century BC to the 7th century AD researchers uncovered the Garamantes' walled towns, villages, and farms after poring over modern satellite images, as well as aerial photos taken during the 1950s and 1960s. This is just amazing. Who knows what other discoveries lie beneath the sand? Well, we still have more. Let's go. Number 4. Sand Cats Okay. Before we talk about this discovery, you need to know that the Moroccan Sahara has a not friendly temperature. It isn't the romantic image of the desert you might imagine. No mile-high dunes, soft sands, or dromedaries traversing the landscape. In this desert is stony and flat with hard-packed gravel, dotted with periodic dry bushes and the occasional sheep herder. Far from any water sources, this part of the world may not see rain for several years. So it would just be too surprising to find any animal here, but shockingly, this cat lives here and it lives well. This small feline is resilient and able to travel extreme distances. And yes, it's a kind of fire, but don't be deceived, it's a wild cat. For a long time, scientists have been unable to study this species of cat because they travel far and wide to get their survival food, which is why this discovery is so important. Did you just say it looks like a house cat? Make no mistake of taking it home because you'll be living with a wild animal that might end up causing you a lot of trouble. Number three, abandoned dome of Casa Grande. Wait, what are these domes doing here? Well, they did have a purpose. They were built to facilitate the manufacturing of computers back in the late 1970s to the early 1980s, but were never completed, as is evident from a couple of foundations that were started and left to molder. These structures are beautiful and at the same time strange. One of the buildings is shaped like a flying saucer and the other three are as if spheres were joined together, looking like huge concrete caterpillars. The locals believe them to be made for ritualistic witchcraft and satanic worship. Whoever chose to visit was always warned to stay away from the domes, and especially not to go into the tunnels. Yes, there were tunnels under this facility. There are also stories about ghosts and other eerie creatures. While it is unclear if these stories are true or false, it is good to stay away from the tunnels as one of the domes collapsed. The city therefore ordered the destruction of the rest of the domes, and as of now, they have been demolished. Number 2. The Mythical Lost City of Kidan A long time ago, in the middle of World War II, a Royal Air Force transport plane flying off course over the Arabian Desert found a lost city deep in the empty quarter. The pilot of this plane had an intriguing tale to tell. According to him, several hours into the flight, he realized that he was lost. But soon, the pilot was surprised to spot what looked like a small town about a hundred miles into the desert. The story of the lost flight was a topic of lively discussion amongst those at the base at the time, including an RAF officer named Raymond O'Shea, who had met the pilot himself and spent hours with him trying to reconstruct his route as best they could. Raymond developed an interest in Arabian history and culture, and so he decided to find this city. Eventually, he found the ruins of a city described by the lost pilot, and knowing so much about Arabian culture, he speculated that the ruins might have been those of Kidan, the legendary lost city of King Ad. He also thought it might be home to some lost tribe that had wandered across the desert centuries earlier, making their home on the top of the hill, away from the infamously xenophobic Bedouin tribes of the region. Due to low water, he could not stay in the desert for long as he returned to the base at Sharjah. Do you also think he found this lost city? Number one, bizarre pattern of Gobi Desert. Just imagine this pattern in a desert. Looks like maps of major cities in American cities or something done by aliens, right? Well, that's what many media outlets suggested as well after these bizarre patterns were revealed by Google Maps but that's not the case. 
These lines were found on the surface of China's Gobi Desert, and experts have said they are most likely used by China's spy and radar satellites. This strange grid of randomly zigzagging white lines, which are probably painted onto the land surface, is most likely used to calibrate China's spy satellites. Now it's making more sense. According to satellite cameras, it measures approximately 0.65 miles wide by 1.15 miles long, which is probably used for orientation in space. Looks more like the explanation, but somehow these lines still look suspicious. What do you think about this pattern? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.